Uh, I gotta quit doing that. I gotta remember to turn my mic on. Anyway, um, as I was saying, I'm gonna play Chung Su. Uh, they're the Korean faction. They uh, specialize in research and espionage. Uh, more the espionage, but they get a little bit of research bonus from doing espionage missions. So, and they start with an agent uh, rather than having to wait. So, <clears throat> that's where we're at here. Much of Han Jae Moon's enigmatic personality stems from the ISO meditation practice that is common during Chung Su training. Sessions were often preceded by intense physical training, so that exhaustion would threaten to overwhelm the participant. Intense focus was required to stay awake and alive. Yikes. <clears throat> One of the other special abilities of the is they were added with um, Rising Tide, which added ocean cities. Uh, Chung Su is one of two that can start in the ocean, which doesn't really play out because I don't like the ocean cities that much. I mean, it's nice to take move around. Uh, it takes your reduction to do so. And it's also got a... Uh, um, they don't... The city radius doesn't expand on its own. You have to either move the city or spend money to buy the tiles which I don't really care for I like the cities to just grow naturally without any intervention from me so let's see where we're at we are right in the smack middle of the ocean so exactly what I was talking about um, well resource resource I would land there if I could but that's not an option uh, retrograde thrusters would have been nice it would have let me land on land but um, I like my tectonic scanners a little too much. What's that? That is desert miasma and chitin. All right, we are going to splash down here, I think. Ooh, seems like he's running slow again. This is one of the issues he was doing yesterday. I mean, it says I'm running at 50 frames per second, but we'll see how long that lasts. Hopefully a little while. we got here we're gonna move over here we're gonna do that aliens were a big pain in my butt yesterday so I'm just gonna probably start slaughtering everything and for the moment we're gonna take a health upgrade so yeah I already start off with my special agent even though I don't have uh, computing or a spy agency because stuff. Uh, those guys don't really move though, so I'm not worried about them. I'll leave them alone for the moment. Oh, yay! What did I get? Resource pod. Inside the resource pod you found a cache of laboratory equipment from old earth made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. Equipment is eagerly welcomed by your scientists, providing 12 research. Gifts from home. Our sponsor had the foresight to send resource pods ahead of our expedition to be waiting when we arrived. Parts to a large research instrument have been found in this pod. Other pieces are probably around here somewhere. We lost it. Hull repair suit. Battered. Utility space suit used during seed ship repairs. These standard issue suits were found aboard most seed ships and were engineered to withstand the vacuum of space. Well tested in extreme conditions. It is the most thoroughly insulated spacesuit ever created. Despite its bulk, it allows for a surprisingly wide range of motion. You're a little too close for comfort, too. But it's all right.
clinic. I don't have any frame drops today. That's always a good thing. Found an outpost. For our colony to prosper, we should consider expanding. We should focus our efforts on researching how to create new outposts for the colony. Research pioneering. I'm already on that. Your expedition thoroughly investigated the derelict settlement. It found no survivors, but did find records from the last desperate days of a failed settlement. A psychohistorical analysis of their struggles has provided your people with insight on how to avoid the mistakes they made, providing 30 culture. Do I have enough to bump up two? I do, nice. This way for the moment. Circle back around. Yeah, moving cities, another thing it does is it destroys any of the improvements. I really don't want to break my own stuff. So. As you can tell, I do not like water cities. <laughs> But I felt like playing these guys for some reason, so here we are. Kind of gambling that I'd get the chance to land on land, or at least an island. But it is okay. We'll make do. Learn something new. I've been playing this game enough, I probably should learn something new. an explorer since I can't build anything else at the moment. Seven turns. N need more production. Gonna have to get a water refinery. If that adds production. Which is really weird. I mean, it's, it has the option of adding food later with a quest, but it starts off adding production. I'm like, what? <laughs> Nope, can't go there. All right, I'm gonna wander over here. It's really interesting that the hydro coil, hydro coral, um, does not have zone of control I can move freely around it even though it's an alien unit research is completed and we can now construct the mobile machinery needed to found an outpost the universe is either in progress or in entropy we choose progress the thing that's really weird about the hydrocoral not having the uh, zone of control is uh, alien water units even though they can't attack on the land will hinder land units from moving around if they're next to them. It's like, how does this work? Least of not being overrun by aliens this time. Yay.
think we're gonna go actually get on land at the moment. Find a place to put the city. Found a portable reactor and fuel source inside the resource pod, able to activate it despite some damage from landing, providing 50 energy. Artifact discovered Progeny 2 Interactive Family Tree. Stare into this mirror and your ancestors will stare back. This interactive family tree was once a must-have product on Earth. Family, schools, and libraries would feature Progeny brand tablets through which users could research their own family line. Let's see, I got Xenomass, Fraxite, Geothermal, geothermal. That's not a bad spot. Looks like I'm more towards the southern part of the map, so maybe I'll expand down. I don't know. Uh. People need to stop landing so close. You got a whole planet. Why must you be in my backyard? Our relic has provoked an ideological split among our citizens. Some believe the old earth relic is instrumental as a source of solace for the grief people feel over their lost world. They want it left in reverent peace as a shrine. Others think it represents a valuable repository of traditional wisdom that must be studied and displayed publicly if humanity is to embrace their new home. Leave old earth relics untouched is free maintenance. Open old earth relics to the public is plus one culture. Plus one culture. Relics will be made public resources accessible like any library for any citizen to examine their contents. Early reports indicate that they are already spurring new insights into our way of life. Five petroleum, minerals, two things of minerals. This is not a bad spot down here. I may put a city here. I must think those two are closer to each other than they are to me. I'll let them fight it out. And that is something I need to remember is I'm playing on a primordial biome rather than a lush or yeah lush is what it's called which is closer to earth like so the aliens are going to behave a little bit different than I'm used to which is probably why I was having so much trouble with them yesterday and they weren't dying as easily it's like you jerks Found a portable reactor and fuel source inside the resource pod. Able to activate it despite some damage from landing, providing 60 energy. All pieces of the instrument are accounted for. Our scientists will make good use of this instrument sent from Earth. You receive plus 20 science. This isn't a bad spot. What do we got here? Nine fracite, five geothermal. Oh, these aren't bad spots down here. We'll see what's between... Maybe I'll start expanding uh, west and south. Miasma. All right. Got titanium there, though. That's kind of good. Actually, that actually wouldn't be. Well, what is this? This is all marsh here, though. That's. Ew.
This might be a good spot. Or this one. One, two, three. Yeah, this might be a good spot. I'll expand out and get that. We'll figure it out. can already make use of some of this. I don't have anything to make use of what's down there. I may loop around counterclockwise. Sure, the one up here, and I thought there was somebody else that landed. Yep, somebody else to her northeast. Honorable is what I normally take for culture, and I may still go that route. Let's see. Court agents require one fewer successful operation to rank up. I don't know if that ends up being a total of three or less intrigue in your capital. Hmm. I think I'm going to stick with honorable. Kind of in, I won't say, key, well, yeah, it is kind of important for the way I play because I go hunting aliens and that lets me boost my culture quickly. I'm going to go uh, purity supremacy again with this game, though. I'm going to focus more on the supremacy than the purity. Uh, supremacy, with the research that I get, builds faster. So I'm going to be picking up the extra purity to kind of keep them even as I go.
So our new ventures wish to establish the operation near our territory. They provide different services that may be useful to us. Hakama Station provides three food, one culture. Kia Gungan provides two culture, two science. Let's go with two culture, two science. Not that I ever really use these. Charter was given to Kia Gungan. You receive established near your territory. Well, as with the stations, they you know, are uh, right next to where I want to establish my own base, which is always very annoying. <sighs> It's like they know where I want to found a city and like, we're going to put ourselves right here. It's like, really? Doesn't matter what map I'm playing or who I'm playing. Expedition team salvaged the wreckage of a crashed satellite of some kind. Had a protected cache of information from its observations in orbit, which your expedition team relayed immediately to your scientists for analysis. They were able to do preliminary research on a distant technology called mechatronics. can't put a city there, but I can put one there. So I can't found within two tiles on the trains. I could found one there, but that's not where I want him. Um, if I put him here, it does keep me off the mainland. It lets me get most of what I'm looking for. I can always later found a city down here, too. Um, or I can just go blow up the station, but that's that takes effort. I've never found attacking the stations to be worth any kind of useful. I've completed construction of the necessary machinery, search for an ideal location to build an outpost, preferably a ri location rich with food and resource, and send the colonists to that location. Once you arrive, set up the outpost. I think I'm just going to plop him down here in this volcanic, well, it says desert, but. Looks volcanic because on this world the deserts are uh, look like lava. So. I can just bounce my way across. Then I can from here to here, and from here maybe go down here, and start working my way south and west. Um, let's see here. It's ocean. That's coral. Buy that tile. Move you on over here. Just realized I can't get this coral because I can't shoot that at the moment. Yay. 
got some science and culture from that. Which is exactly what I need. See, this makes sense that this sea dragon will interfere my explorer because they're in water. But if this was land, the sea dragon would still interfere with his movement. Be like, what? Oh, it's shells. I thought that was eggs. That's okay. Still gets me what I need. A portable reactor and fuel source inside the resource pod. Able to activate despite some damage from landing, providing 70 energy. Metal Mark Media Cube. An old earth toy that changes its appearance by projecting imagery onto its six sides. This toy derived from physical puzzles of the 20th century and was popular with both children and adults. Oh, we got three artifacts. Let's see what I can put together here. Frontier Stadium. Plus 10 city defense. Military units start with a free promotion. It's almost tempting, especially since I'm going to be going supremacy. You know what? We'll do it. This lavish arena harkens back to immense sports stadiums once erected on Earth. Surviving records show these buildings occupied by thousands of spectators cheering on athletes in mock combat. A revitalized interest in Earth pastimes has driven savvy investors to support new forms of athletic entertainment. I think that's funny that sports were considered mock combat. Though in the case of things like rugby or hockey, it's not always mock. <laughs> Those are real fights occasionally. Sea Dragon ran away. The outpost has been constructed and will soon grow into a full city. It's important to protect newly constructed outposts as they are vulnerable to attack. You receive a soldier. Which spawns in the nearest available land. Let's wander over here. Mm. You can get the Frontier Stadium. And then we'll start working on submarines, probably. Because I'm going to want that science culture fast. No, oh, you're back. Pew, pew. Why did the oh right because he was embarked or not embarked he was he ended his turn in the city so lost his uh, not movement bonus but uh, that he was embarked. All right, I will be right back. He 
His howl echoed through the roofs and up the distant hills. All right, here we go again. Getting a little cold. Uh, all right, when Cody returned, 
Or when Coyote learned he was the only one of his kind on the new planet, his howl echoed through the rifts and off the distant hills. I don't know if it read it while I was AFK, but... You can hear my heater blaring in the background, probably. Oh yeah, definitely. I can see it picking up on the mic. <laughs> um, we're going to grab genetics. Oh no, minus one energy. I've built too much stuff. Oh, great. We're going to have a cold war. It will probably get very hot. Because Ark is the other uh, espionage faction. They do it differently, but they still do it. In fact, I should probably check on um, 15 science, 30 science. Oh, gain an additional covert agent. Okay. Yeah. Little leggy. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. Just gonna island hop my way through. Um, might skip that one and go here. I'll have to see what's up in this dark and unexplored corner. See what's that? It's tundra. Okay, so I'm definitely at the more southern part of the map. I thought it was closer to the equator than I am, or the uh, tundra and uh, ice caps are spread pretty far north. One of the two. Another nice thing about having cities on these islands here is I won't have to buy tiles as the cities naturally will expand over it. So that does give me a little bit of help in that regard. 
I'm going to mill my capital. Starts off in the water. But I don't have to buy everything. I'll have to buy a few if I want to keep growing, but only the uh, most vital tiles, which will be ones with resources on them. Because there's nothing down here to get. That one I'll end up buying probably. Um, this one, not sure which direction it will want to expand. This is a nice area. A really nice area, in fact. I'm definitely coming over this way. Ark is just going to have to deal with it. Inside the resource pod, you found a basic satellite still intact and enough rocket fuel for it to reach escape velocity. Well, that takes care of my money problems for a minute. Free solar collector is now ready for launch in the city of Jungsang. And I'm going to murder the pronunciation on these names. For which I sort of apologize. Mysterious encrypted transmission was received from an unknown origin. After some considerable effort, it has been decoded. Clear text reads, the Culper cell requires infrastructure for covert operations. Should you choose to accept, you will be rewarded in time. Research computing. Yeah, genetics. Mm. Let me grab engineering. Because I've got titanium that I can use. Well, I can already build the mines, but thorium reactor will be nice too. Desert hills, xenomass, titanium. This is a really nice spot over here. I'm definitely coming over this way.
I'm not going anywhere near that nest. Ah, crud. That was why I was trying to avoid it. It's also why the submarines are headed this way. Oh shoot, did that backwards. Oh, whew. It's down to like one hit point. Portable reactor and fuel source inside the resource pod. Got 60 energy this time. That's a kraken. Deuce ex chemica, chemia, chemia, cacophony of noise and a blinding light halts daily life across the globe. An enormous meteor has exploded in our planet's atmosphere. Citizens of every colony watch in wonder as the remaining pieces fall to its surface. Although a shockwave was felt across the globe, reports of damage in the colonies have been mercifully light. Scientists are now measuring trace amounts of nitrogen in the alien atmosphere, suggesting that the meteorite may have brought an abundance of this chemical to the planet. However, responders from the nearest colony are recording high levels of radiation near the largest impact site, preventing further study. While this massive crater may be too dangerous to approach, our planet is now marked by dozens of smaller collisions. Nitrogen is a relatively foreign element on this planet, and our chemists are eager to measure its effects. We should explore these similar impact si smaller impact sites as soon as possible. What do you mean you lost the Kraken? It's as big as an island. Yeah, well... I'm trying to decide if there's any reason for me to settle over here. I think there... One, two, three... Uh, Yes and no. Pro 
probably will, but it won't be for a little bit. Uh, he's like right on. Oh, there's two of them. Expedition team found a cavernous labyrinth underneath the progenitor ruins. While plumbing the depths, they found a few dozen interactive devices made of glowing stone that dissolved a few minutes after being touched. The rest of the maze was silent and empty. The knowledge the team gained from the device illuminates parts of a distant technology called artificial evolution, and our scientists acquire preliminary research on it. I should sink that hydro coral before it heals or gets bigger. The subset curse. A large percentage of colonists are reporting curious symptoms in their children. The first generation born since landing are having unpredictable intense spikes of emotion and feeling phantom pain without explanation clearly we must do something playing the right faction for this quest instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets instruct them to dream of infrastructure the excess construction material and requisite temporary structures used in the construction of the new recycler are now thanks to the recycler prime candidates for recycling We've received various requests for the resulting materials and need to establish precedents. Workers claim the materials will improve their operations, while the agricultural sector would like to use it as fertilizer. Supply workers is plus 10% worker speed. Supply agriculture is plus one food from recyclers. So let's go into the workers. By delivering the recycled goods to our workers, we're seeing a boost to their operational speed. I do feel like I'm going to need rangers in these cities, especially with the, uh, how active the native life is. We may have an explanation for the odd symptoms experienced by our colonists. Lab tests confirm that a rare genetic condition is found among an alarming percentage of our population. It's borderline unbelievable, explained a technician from the new laboratory. Mere touch synesthesia occurs in less than 2% of the population on Earth. How we wound up with over 10% among the people chosen for this colony is, well, it's almost impossible. The condition is so rare we would never have tested for it among our candidates. As a colony, we must choose whether or not to eradicate this genetic quirk or see how it might be used as a tool in this new world. Accept the rare genes. 
What might have been debilitating on Earth could be an asset here. We shouldn't try to control our colony's genetic makeup with such a heavy hand. Let's investigate the, col the condition more thoroughly first. Build a pharma lab. which means they're going to come after that explorer. Actually, first thing I want to do is get another worker. I know, I know, I'm leaving them. Uh, there's more nests. My gosh, this is an amazing place to settle. Oh. Another kraken came back. Yes, nope. <laughs> I was like, they're going to eat my explorer. Traded my life for my leg when I met the great worm. Now, with all the fury and courage this cripple can bring to bear, I hunt. I hunt the earth drinker, I hunt the worm. So, the resource pod found a basic satellite, still intact, enough rocket fuel for it to reach escape velocity.
construction of the trade depot is practically complete. While it is currently operational, there is a disagreement between the engineers about the intended use of this and future complexes. Some area should be finalized primarily as a storage space, while others contend that we should streamline it for trade. Streamline for trade is plus one production. Streamlined for, oh, streamline for storage is plus one production. Streamline for trade is plus two energy. Streamline for storage. The depot is first and foremost a depot. By completing the complex as a storage space, we can store more material for use in our colony's production. Somebody else came through and picked up a resource pod. That wasn't cool. I wonder who it was. Probably a Lodi. Might have been Mark. My guess is a Lodi. So I grabbed the resource pod, but not the expedition. Okay. Lead scientist at our newly constructed laboratory is reporting a lack of cooperation from our colony's explorers. She requests that the government require the explorers comply with her request for field data. Representative of the explorers has filed a counter complaint detailing what they see as requests for useless samples for experimentation in the laboratory. The explorers demand the right to choose which errands they run. Explore Autonomy is one additional expedition module. Endorse laboratory agendas plus one science from maps. Uh, establish Explorer Autonomy. Explorers risk their lives for the good of the colony and should enjoy complete autonomy to pursue their interests. We will remove any bureaucratic impediments so they may spend more time in the field. You receive Explorer units gain one additional module. Yeah, and this land unit is interfering with my water unit. So I, I don't understand how that works. Maybe it's just a... Uh... Programming whatever that they couldn't do anything about as far as how the... Uh... Zones of control work. Okay, he's gone. Do not eat my worker. Go away. Do not, ah, dang it. Earth's pharmaceutical industry was at its peak during the 21st century. While the drugs of that time were severely limited in ability, they did open our mind to the full potential of pharmaceuticals. Now that our pharma lab is functional, our technology has finally caught up with that potential. We just have to decide how best to utilize it. Enhanced function or life extension? Enhancing body function is plus one science. Life extension is plus one health. We're going to go with life extension. The longer our people live, the more they can accomplish. This whole endeavor is about the continuation of the human species. Any progress towards life extension is progress towards our ultimate goal. Uh, let's... 
Going to build an explorer to replace the one I just lost. Further testing confirms that mirror touch synesthesia is a dominant trait in our colony. If left unaddressed, it will eventually become present in most, if not all, of the population. During the testing, it's become clear that mirror touch synesthesia Synesthetes may have some cultural advantages in this society. The ability to read others' emotions and weaknesses makes them especially tuned to social behavior, and a growing number of colonists want to do what's possible to accelerate the adoption of this genetic trait. On the other hand, rapid exposure might come with unknown consequences. Perhaps the trait should be contained while those already affected are trained to better control their symptoms. Accelerate the adoption of mirror touch synesthesia continues to harmony. Hone mirror touch synesthesia into elite mind reading force. There's no reason to let a genetic condition run wild, but that doesn't mean we can't use it to our advantage. Those with the ability to sense the emotion of others can gather unique insights when needed. Let's lean on this rare advantage. Build a spy agency. The completion of the clinic, oh wow, this one already, or I should say at this point. With the completion of the clinic, the colonists have expressed approval of your leadership. A small group wishes to establish a volunteer program to benefit the city and our future outposts. Some suggest we create a civil defense force with branches in each clinic, while others suggest allowing volunteers to staff the clinic. Defense force is plus 15 hit points in the city. Uh, clinic volunteer program is plus one health. The newly established volunteer program at the clinic is already improving the health of our society. Oh, that was titanium. I thought that was mineral. So titanium, titanium, titanium. Got lots of titanium. Oh, excuse me. I will be right back.
Something did get broken. I was like, I heard something break. What was it? It was a titanium mine. Uh. Well, I guess that's what I get for you being so close. You stay on the mainland because you come out into the ocean. Yeah. You'll be getting in my way. Expedition team discovered that the massive bones of the alien skeleton resonated with a strange energy that exposed, when exposed to specific frequencies of electromagnetic radiation. The team used this phenomenon to conduct experiments not possible elsewhere, discover how to better manipulate the planet's ecosystem, and advance ourselves. As a result, we gained 14 affinity XP towards purity. Every day I think of Earth, because a word or phrase evokes a lesson I learned long ago. And gets me what I need. Plus 20% strength and range strength when attacking or defending against aliens. Hmm. Itchy. 
my turn. My gosh, the settlers. Oppression, chaos, and death may come from the barrel of a gun. But so occasionally does victory. I know we can tackle this next problem because we succeeded in tackling all the problems that came before it. Despite my stated intention, I appear to be going uh, <laughs> purity. Um.
trying to decide if there's even any reason for me to build on there. One, two, three, because this will pick that up. Um, yeah, there isn't really any reason for me to build here. Except for it would fill in the territory. This one... I think I'm going to skip that, and I'm going to build down here next, actually. So I'll bend in, and then I will move out to probably this one. And then start swinging down. Now that may be a story for another time. I might wrap it up here in a few moments. Heterophobic solution. Liquid substance in constant flux. The heterophobic solution somehow combines two fluid substances which are at the same time attracted to and repelled by each other. The solution is unstable and seems to be in a constant state of dissolution and reconstitution. Destroy an alien nest and gain 40 science and 16 food. And irritated the aliens. means he may just plow straight into my worker. The stewards at our site on Earth are reporting a monumental discovery. Through the study and hybridization of the indigenous fauna, we've managed to create a bioorganic mesh which mimics their cellular division. Integrating the mesh into our production would speed things along tremendously. Unfortunately, it takes a rather long time to create, so there's only so much to go around. We'll have to decide how best to distribute it. Unit production plus 5% production for military units from site of nurseries or city productions plus one overall production. We're going to do plus one overall production. There's no reason the entire city should not benefit from this wonderful discovery. Spread the mesh around so that all production might be hastened. I think I'm going to save at the start of this turn and call it a game for the moment. I might stream a little bit later today. We'll see. But definitely needing a break right now. So we will finish this game last time. I don't remember how many turns it was. We'll go right that. All right, so thank you to everybody that joined in, and you all take care and have a good day.